We're on lesson one of chapter four, which is linear functions in slope-intercept form. First, we'll write an equation for two given points. Then we'll write a linear function. Then we'll do a real-world problem. Slope-intercept form is probably the one that we're familiar with here. Y equals the slope times x plus the intercept. That's why it's called slope-intercept form. So we have two jobs to do. Find the slope and then find the intercept to create an equation. And we know that slope is rise over a run. So here we'd have a rise of 2, a run of 3. So it would be 2 thirds x. And then the intercept, the y-intercept, is negative 4. So it would be 2 thirds x plus negative 4. So let's do that with this one here. It says write an equation of the line shown. So we can start with our simple y equals mx plus b equation. Then we can find the slope and we can find the y-intercept. The slope is a run of 3 and a rise of 4. So I would say y equals 4 over 3 times x plus, and then the y-intercept is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I would do plus negative 5, and some people choose to just say minus 5, and that's the same thing. So now let's write linear functions. Write an equation for the linear function f with the values of input of 0, output of 5, and input of 4, output of 17. What we can do, this sometimes just confuses people, we can just can turn these into coordinate points, and a lot of times this really helps us solve these problems. So now here's my two coordinate points. We could do rise over run with these coordinates then. The run would be the change in x, so we'd do x2 minus x1, so that'd be 4 minus 0, and that would just be 4. Remember the run is on the bottom, and then the rise would be from y2 minus y1, so that'd be 17 minus 5. 17 minus 5 is 12, and I can do 12 divided by 4 here, so the slope would be 3. y equals 3x, so what is our y-intercept? Well, we see that x is 0 here, so that, that would tell us our y-intercept right now. And for these problems today, they're going to be giving you the, the y value when x is 0. So we would know that y is 5 when x is 0, so therefore our y-intercept is 5. Let's solve this problem. A recording studio charges musicians an initial fee of $50 to record an album. Studio time costs an additional $35 per hour. So it asks us to write an equation that gives the total cost of an album as a function of the studio time in hours. So the time will be our input here. So we would say f of x, we would say y equals mx plus b, and let's find out what the slope and the y-intercept would be. Every single hour that the musician spends, they, they spend $35. So we would say 35 times x, and then that initial fee is $50, so they pay that no matter what. So here would be my equation, y equals 35x plus 50. Then it says find the total cost of recording an album that takes 10 hours of studio time. So I'd plug in the 10 for the hours, then we know that x became the hour, so we would plug that in for 10. So y equals 35 times 10 plus 50. 35 times 10 is 350, plus 50 is 400. So I'd say y equals 400. So y is dollars, so we're going to say $400 would be the answer.